YouTube Counseling for Busy People and the podcast for Unreal Counseling. I'm Lisa Ryan and I am so glad you're here. Today I'd like to talk about the qualities that men find attractive in women. It's a question that I'm asked all the time because I meet with so many men so I feel like I've got a bit of an inside track here because they speak so intimately all the time on a regular basis with me. It irritates me that men never ask what qualities that women are looking for, but I'm going to table that. Most people think that what the average guy is looking for today in a woman depends on how old he is, maybe his education, or perhaps even his background or upbringing. Nope. That is not the case. I see people in their 20s, their 30s, their 40s, their 50s, their 60s, from millennials to baby boomers, and from all backgrounds, professions, and levels of education. And it amazes me that all men are still pretty much looking for the exact same thing in their life partner. Go figure. So here are the six things that men seek most in a lifetime mate. You ready? One consistency. As the old joke goes, women think they can change a man once they've married him, and men think that the woman they marry will never change. Except it's not a joke, folks. Women really think that, and so do men. No, you kind of get who you married, like for life. Men really want to find themselves married, even after 30 years, to the woman she was when he originally married her. So he's looking for consistency. So do your best to be your most genuine self at the time you get married. Otherwise, you'll find yourself married to a guy who thinks you've become a complete stranger. And by the way, you might not recognize him very much either. Okay, number two, sense of humor. Oh my God, this one's so important. If it were up to me, I would put this one first. Both men and women tell me how critical it is to maintain their sense of humor with each other. It is so important to be able to laugh at the same stuff throughout your lifetimes. Let's face it, the lifespan of your marriage or relationship can have its share of challenges, its ups and downs and ups and downs. It is so much easier when you have a sense of humor to keep things in perspective, to laugh at yourself, to laugh at each other, to laugh at the world, or at least to find the positive things in your life when stuff goes really south and gets really, really tough. Number three, pride in appearance. I get this one. In fact, I'm guilty of it as well. Multiple times in my life, I have packed on more than a few pounds and I always have to work very hard to keep them off. Men, far more than women, complain that their spouse has put on so much weight that they just don't find them sexually attractive any longer. It's almost like they feel tricked or duped. In contrast, women are offended that their husbands don't love them or at least desire them regardless of what size they are. But, you know, this is this is how men think, so I'm just sharing it with you. But if a man did not take pride in his appearance regarding his weight or hygiene or maybe how he dressed, you could feel differently about him too. I don't know, maybe not. Number four, softness. I have brought this up in the past in previous videos as well as blogs, posts, and it has sparked a lot of conversation and sometimes misunderstanding. Sometimes you know, women get offended that men are looking for soft women. It does not mean that men are looking for someone weak or someone who's compliant or someone who's submissive. At least I don't think, <laughs> I don't think they are. That is not what men think of when they describe what softness in a woman means. Actually, on the contrary, men love strong women. Men are looking for women who don't hate men. That's what they mean by soft. We have an entirely different connotation as women to the word soft. 
How men feel about women hating men always surprises me because I don't know a lot of women who hate men. I can't think of any as a matter of fact, but so many men I speak with perceive women in that way. Who are these men talking with and where are they finding these women? I don't know. Five. Brains. It may surprise you because men clearly still like to have veto power. Irritating, I know, but men really do appreciate smart women. I suppose when you consider the alternative, you can see their point. Men like to have conversations with women like you probably who have well-informed opinions. They like to converse with a woman who doesn't feel challenged by a spirited debate or hear that they're conceived as wrong just because there's a difference of opinion. To be fair, there are uh, realms in, in both the lives of men and women in which they believe they should carry veto power. And smart people in a committed relationship recognize when one has an edge and defers to their deeper or greater knowledge on a given subject. They even feel lucky to be partnered with someone with an obvious edge. Perhaps you carry veto power in particular categories of your lives together. I think it all comes down to who is more skilled and knowledgeable in one arena versus another. Regardless of which arenas you're in or who has veto power, brains are extremely desirable to men. Six, femininity. Last but certainly not least, men love women who carry an unmistakable aura of being female. And they don't mean delicate and they don't mean fragile, though they like to get their way. We all do actually. Most men want a strong woman who's comfortable with her own gender. Don't you want a man who's comfortable with his? Men tell me that women who are comfortable being female have no need to act like a man to be taken seriously. They also mean sensual. I, I completely understand that. Some of the most powerful people I know are extremely comfortable with their femaleness. They emote female. Super, super achievers and earners. And they are brilliant and they are power packed. Interestingly, Many women I speak with long for a man who they define as masculine. Are you still with me? So if you're trying to be someone else because you think you're not what a man wants, just be you. Nothing is more magnetic or charismatic to a man than a sweat-soaked woman crossing the finish line at the 10K or getting her master's degree in engineering or fine arts or standing out with confidence and conviction at a town hall meeting about a matter that's important to her. So just be you. You're so much more than good enough. Thanks for taking the time to be with me today. Look for me all over the internet. You can find podcasts. You can find Counseling for Busy People online. Take our quizzes. Read our blog posts. It's packed with all sorts of stuff. I look forward to seeing you on the next tape. Have a good one.